Now finally, what do I have to say to this Aaron guy? This is a message to you. If you want instant god status within the Call of Duty World, World War II community, there's only three things you need to do to achieve instant god status. Number two, sprint out times. Sprint out times. Sprint out times. Sprint out times. Um, can I get a hell yeah? What is going on you guys? Johnny here. Welcome back to another Call of Duty video. Today we are going to be talking about something amazing. Now, if you guys didn't watch my last video, don't, don't even worry about it. It's irrelevant now. At the end of the video, I did talk about Aaron Halen, who was now going to be spearheading Sledgehammer Game Studios. And I told him there were only three things he needed to do. Not that he listened to me or anything. I'm just saying that I said there was only three steps he needed to take in order to achieve instant Call of Duty God status. The first one was paint jobs. Dude, stop teasing us and put that thing out. That's what she said. <laughs> because I'm not getting any heroics and I need my guns to look cool because that's 50% of the battle. The second thing I said was sprint out times. And Jesus Christ, did he listen? Yes, we're going to get a sprint out times buff across the board. However, not really across the board. I will be explaining that in, in a little bit. Just stay tuned. And finally, I said he needed to communicate with the community a, a lot more because the lack of community under Glenn Schofield and Michael Connery was the downfall of Call of Duty World War II. And them just thinking that, that they were right and that we were wrong. That being said, let's just jump into this update that we got regarding Call of Duty World War II and how amazing it is going to be because, my God, they're finally finally listening. We are finally going to be getting a sprint out time buff on top of an ADS transition time buff. Now those are two different things and we will touch on those. The first thing we are going to see in this update is the SMGs are going to get a base ADS time buff as well as a sprint out time ADS buff. So what that means is that when standing still you will be able to aim down the sights quicker and you will also be able to aim down the sights quicker after sprinting. Now my only fear with this is that they are not going to do this across the board make them all equal but rather that they are going to do this on an individual gun basis because that means that the type 100 will be the fastest ADS and weapon in the game and it's already super hard to compete with because of that ADS time that being said let me know what you guys see in the comments down below and now for the rifles the rifles are only going to get an ADS transition time to its base speed that means that only when you're standing still will will you be able to ADS faster and they did this in an effort to maintain a difference between SMG and AR class play styles on paper I am fine with this we still need to see what it's like in person. The LMGs are going to get only one buff and that is to its base ADS time. That means that only when you're standing still will you be able to ADS faster. Once again, I'm fine with that because right now the meta in Call of Duty World War 2 is super campy. Everybody's running around with an LMG. And finally, one thing that I absolutely do not agree with is a sniper nerf. They are going to be nerfing the ADS time of both the CAR 98K and the M1903. Me personally, I do not agree with this. I really think that snipers the way they are right now in Call of Duty is perfect and it's Instead of doing this, they should be working on the bugs. For example, the Torpedo 2, which is a heroic variant of the CAR 98K, has the original launch ADS speed. That being said, I do not think that they should touch it. I think they should leave it alone. I think that snipers right now are good. And the next thing we're going to get into this update is a weapon balancing patch, which I got to say, I can't think of a Call of Duty that gave us so many weapon balancing patches, at least not as many as we're getting in Call of Duty World War II, because this feels like the third or the fourth one already, and we're not even six months into the life cycle. And if you guys want to learn more about the new weapon balancing patch, I'm going to leave everything in the description down below, because I'm trying to keep this video short because I apparently talk too much, <laughs> and I got all self-conscious about it. Either way, you guys, everything will be linked in the, in the description down below. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out yourselves they're like it's not exactly too crazy some of them make sense and they explain why they are doing this which i love once again linked in the description down below that's going to be it for today's video you guys i'm trying to keep it under four minutes and i think we kind of passed that already um if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to smash that like button it helps my channel grow and i cannot tell you how much i appreciate all of the support i have been given for the last two months it is insane i love you guys so much and once again if you enjoyed the video be sure to bros the channel i do everything call of duty gameplays leaks glitches you name it i do it all so be sure to Bros the channel, and if you like what you see, consider dropping a sub, joining the casual crew. You're always welcome to do so, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Keep it tight.